Vice President Kamala Harris took a short break from debate prep on Saturday to stop at Penzi Spices in Pittsburgh Strip District. One customer saw the Democratic nominee and began openly weeping with a sense of the moment, as Harris hugged her and said, We're going to be fine. We're all in this together. Dressed for fall in a tweed jacket, she talked to children and posed for selfies, saying that this trip was the best part of her debate prep so far. Harris said she was honored to have endorsements from two major Republicans, former Vice President Dick Cheney and his daughter, Liz Cheney, the former Wyoming congresswoman. People are exhausted about the division and the attempts to kind of divide us as Americans, she said, reflecting on her conversations in Pittsburgh. Harris said that her main message to former President Donald Trump in their upcoming debate was that the country wants to be united. It's time to turn the page on the divisiveness, she said. It's time to bring our country together, to chart a new way forward. Actually, I'm honored to have their endorsement, and I think that um, what they both, as leaders who are well respected, are making an important statement that um, it's okay and, if not important, to put country above party. And um, I'm honored to have their support, and I think it's an important statement right now. A lot of what I think is happening, and I was just talking with some folks here in Pittsburgh about it, is that people are exhausted about the division and, and the attempts to kind of divide us as Americans. And um, them stepping up to make this public statement, I think, is uh, courageous, but also for people like the folks I was just talking with, it really reinforces for them that we love our country and we have more in common than what separates us. So. Right, thank you, Press. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Press. Are you ready to move. Yes, I am. Yes. Best right, part of so. debate prep for you? What's your favorite? Being part? at the spice store, I finally got out of the debate prep to look at these spices. Best part of debate prep so far. <laughs> one thing you want to really get, get across to him? Well, there's a lot, but um, look, it's time to turn the page on the divisiveness. Um, it's time to bring our country together, chart a new way forward. Um, yeah. All right, let's go press. Oh, sorry, it's been reported the press. Iran has supplied Russia with several hundred short-range ballistic missiles. The Wall Street Journal reported citing senior American and European officials. One of the sources specified that the weapons had already arrived in Russia. Also, according to him, Tehran intends to continue supplying shells to Moscow. Iran has sent short-range ballistic missiles to Russia, giving Moscow another powerful military tool to use in its war against Ukraine. The move follows stern warnings from the West not to supply the weapons to Moscow, the article says. The transfer of Iranian missiles coincided with an intensification of shelling of civilian infrastructure in Ukraine by the Russian army. The attacks have killed dozens of civilians since late August. The West has previously warned Iran that additional sanctions would be imposed if it supplied missiles to Russia. European officials told the publication that they are currently working on a sanctions response with their American colleagues. Since the West knew that Iran was going to supply Russia with ballistic missiles, preparatory work on restrictive measures began in the summer. The sanctions are expected to affect a number of Iranian companies and individuals involved in arms transfers to Moscow, including transport companies. The new restrictions will also ban Iran Air, the Iranian national carrier, from flying to European airports. A White House spokesman commented on reports of Iran preparing or already begun deliveries of short-range ballistic FAF-360 to Russia. National Security Council spokesman Sean Savet did not directly confirm that the delivery had already taken place. Any transfer of Iranian ballistic missiles to Russia would represent a dramatic escalation of Iran's support for Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine. Reuters quotes Savet as saying, 
Another agency source, this time anonymously, said Washington was keeping a close eye on potential shipments. Iran has transferred hundreds of drones to Russia during its full-scale invasion of Ukraine, according to people speaking on condition of anonymity, but the potential transfer of ballistic missiles would be a worrying development in the war. Iran is one of Russia's closest allies. Tehran has provided Moscow with thousands of Shahed kamikaze drones since the start of the full-scale war, and the two nations continue to deepen their military and political cooperation.